Oh my God, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. A new text from unknown. Oh, this is Kate's mother. No, dad. Dad. And father. I'm not sure I want to brush my tears with like someone else toothbrush. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. I'm actually quite surprised it's you actually know, an option. I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Can I dye my hair? Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. I want to forget that story. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Oh, I can take a picture. All right, let's go down. <laughs> let's go say hi. Answering machine. I can play. What well, really? Looks like a message. Okay, I'm doing it. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Let's rewind there. Yeah. I'm tempted to erase it. Let's talk to her first. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Uh, I probably like pancakes a lot more than eggs and bacon, but... It <laughs> so... But it's America. Eggs and bacon should be good, right? I didn't eat eggs in like a very long time, actually. Okay, I'll go with pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Egg yeah, and milk? pancakes. No problemo. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. No, milk. Now for the mother's milk. Newspaper. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Who drinks beer this early around here? Yeah. I am not sure what to do with the uh, answering machine here. And I feel like it's wrong of me to like play it. I even erase it. I mean, it's not my house. Jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? 
What? What are you? What? I can't find the egg though. Should be in the refrigerator. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I would erase. All right, let's erase it then. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Yeah, I think so too. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Where do you put your fucking eggs? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Why am I even like opening the door? Let's see, I'm sure the eggs are probably outside. Let's find a... Uh, let's find some eggs here. Is that a Ooh, dead, dead bird? bird. Poor thing. What? I wonder how these birds died. Another dead bird. Um, swing. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. <laughs> and Chloe is still trying to get high. Yeah, she's stupid. <gasps> oh my god, so many birds. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. The storm is coming. Okay, how come I cannot find eggs? Like, where do they put their eggs? Come on. Are they hiding eggs somewhere? Eggs. What? With what? <laughs> Why would you... What? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. This might be the one time these people are right. Is that... Oh. Yes, but why is it here? Don't know. <laughs> oh well, ingredients. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you it's and so Chloe wrong. together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. <laughs> Those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but. We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is Rachel okay? Like, she would know. Rachel in trouble. Was Rachel mad at Chloe? I'll, I'll go with that, actually. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Nowhere. I can't go with nowhere because clearly she is, so I'll go with maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Damn, I feel so old now. <laughs> Thank you, game. Uh, 
I want pancakes now. I'm not. I'm not hard. Come on. Ah, pancakes. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> what is that? I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Kate's life was I sure worth a nice exploitive it. headline. Now that's what I call pancakes. Mm, that looks good, actually. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Clearly not. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Oh, that's so sad. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's Pretty not much. about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I have to say, Chloe is a bit annoying, actually. <laughs> no shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Can I try Joyce? I wish you know you could try you stuff. You still need the password, Max the Hacker. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. What is it? 7171. Alright. It's easy to remember. I can rewind time. Wait, what? Why is it actually the password for the... Uh why? Wait, what? Naturally, David would. I can even see the combination. Hmm. That might be a useful password. Nothing in it. Could that be the password of his laptop? Come on. Be too easy, right? I should try, though. Nothing to see here. Oh. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Like stepdad would work. 
Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Mm. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Yeah, maybe. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. I hope you remember everything, Max, because I do not. All right. It's uh, just a laptop. Let's go personal seven one seven one. Nope. nope. <laughs> How me? That one. Try again. Nope. Magic eight ball says no. No way, Max. You totally oh, froze the oh. laptop. I was expecting it to be honest. Thank God I can rewind. Family? Stepdad. Let's see. If it's that one, like such no. wrong. <laughs> no way, Max. Oh, come on. You totally froze the laptop. I rewind a bit more. Like three times. Oh. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Got it. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Hmm. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Are you a stalking Kate like crazy? This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Oh wow, uh, and me. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Let's see. Let's use that door and not the other one. That guy's back. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. <sighs> do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? <sighs> Side with David? Side with Chloe? It's really hard for me to side with David. I mean... Why... Why would I do that?
so sideways, Chloe, definitely. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have <laughs> these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. Oh, shit. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, oh shit. I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Shit's going Joyce down. Hate me for tearing into David. This thing is, I don't think David is such a bad guy. The thing is, I can't really side with him when all I see about him is bad. But I think... I don't know, let's pick with him. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So sorry, Joyce. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? No, it is episode 3. Apparently episode 4 will come out like very soon in the next few days. I hope so. I I really like that game so far. It's so good. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. No, I'm not. And uh hi, Sunny Sunny Bear. <laughs> nice nickname. Should I uh leave uh, the house now? I guess so. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. But he's right there. And... You hold money to that guy. I can't you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and... What? Uh, and That's too complicated. Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Oh, I didn't understand everything. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. Alright. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. <sighs> Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. <gasps> I wonder if I can talk to that old woman again. When there's a dead bird. What is going on here? What? Yeah. What is going on in dead? Knows a dead bird. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals. Holy shit. Looks like that old woman's not here anymore. 
More dead birds. This is so creepy. It is creepy. I don't care what the flyers dead. Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. <laughs> Trucker. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Bad day. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse. That slut suicide? Slut? What the fuck? You should leave. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Who's that guy? Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. <laughs> like I said, Interview over. Let's rewind. So in you, Rachel. Clearly is a bad guy. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Oh, Blackwell class. Rachel Ember. I'll go with Rachel Ember. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Hmm. Let's talk about my photo shoot later. 10-4. Can I uh, take a picture? Yes, I can. Achievement? Yep. Nice. Newspaper. Oh, yes. this is the same Another one. Another great day in Arcadia Bay. Stupid. There's a dead bird. Oh, she's still here. Let's talk to that, uh... I hate seeing old women on the street like that. Hi, how are you? I remember you. Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mmm, awful thing. Yeah. Third week. Let's go with uh, Kate. Kate Marsh. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I did. Oh, honey. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. I know. I know. I'm starting to see that I can't change everything. Especially when it comes to other people. Kate Marsh probably felt like she had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Let's go with David Madsen, actually. I think Joyce's husband, David, has something to do with all this. He's an uptight ass, but I think he just wants something to do. 
Like, make life hell for me and his family? Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I can tell the truth to her. You know what? I'll tell the truth. And, uh... I'll probably rewind, so... I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. But I want to rewind because I want to know more. Hi. I remember. Max. I heard. Rachel and Kate. I think it's all connected to Rachel Amber's disappearance. A lot of things in Arcadia Bay are connected to Rachel. That wasn't much, yeah. Nathan. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. <laughs> he also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot. I just think Arcadia... Maybe you'd like to tell me. Let's see if I do, like, nothing to tell. There's nothing to tell. If you don't want to share, you don't have to. I'm just an old homeless woman. I feel you like she is maybe more than that, actually. A warning. Once you decide to tell me what you know. Alright, there is one more... Uh... Thing. Hi, I rem Max. Ah, her. Sad week. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. <laughs> now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. Uh, I didn't even... I, yeah, I didn't do Frank yet. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespassers. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you I can't know remember uh, Frank. Was I Frank? just think... Maybe you... Oh, no, you mean uh, Frank. Yeah, yeah, Frank. I'll... I'll tell the truth to that uh, to that person. Actually, why not? I feel like too late. I'm just could be. I mean, just saying that I had a vision. It's not much. <laughs> Is there anything here that I can? Uh... Or dead birds, or around the place? My God. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Oh, I can take a picture. Oh, shit. So ominous. What is this? It wasn't like that before, was it? Not when I checked. I don't think so. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. It is disturbing. What an amazing shot. It's good, though. Let's go inside. I'll actually take a, a quick break very soon. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. <laughs> she wants bacon. Anyway, uh, I'll take a quick break here. Yeah. Be right back.